In this video, I'm going to show you how to add YouTube suggested videos and YouTube Studio Beta 2019. What's up guys this is Kershana Sykes and my channel is all about videos that have to do with making money online different strategies to use to help get more leads sales in your business and also tools automated tools different types of tools things that you need in your online business that makes your life a lot easier also makes you more efficient so if you are interested in seeing watching videos like that then what I want you to do is click that subscribe button right now make sure that you also hit that bell notification button because hey whenever I upload a video like it's coming to you and I want it to come to you so let's go ahead and dive in now if you're interested in making passive income something that will help you out financially you know maybe add to your online portfolio so that you can do some of the wonderful things you like to do on life like spend time on the beach spend time with your family but you want to make money while you're doing all of those things then i'm going to invite you to take a look at my number one recommended online marketing program that is in the description below just click on that link to find out more about that so the first thing I'm going to do is give you a tutorial of how to add suggested videos to your YouTube channel using YouTube Studio Beta 2019. The second thing I'm going to do is talk to you about the analytics and show you where you can find out where you need to place the suggested videos within your actual video. So those are the two things that we are going to cover. So now let's dive into the tutorial. All right, so I am on my YouTube channel. The first thing you want to do is click on this icon here, your icon at the top right, and then you are going to click on YouTube Studio. Remember, this is the new uh, YouTube beta 2019, so you're going to click on that. And then you're going to see another page that comes up, and you want to click on Videos right here, okay? Now, your next step is to actually select the video that you want to put the suggested video in. So I'm just going to select that and this video is going to come up okay and you want to select cards this little arrow right here you're going to click on that and the next page that comes up is where you're actually going to add your card. Let me pause that okay so click on add a card there's several options you have video or playlist you have channel poll or link now uh, video or playlist is actually what we're going to use in this example because I want to add a suggested video but keep in mind you can add a, add a playlist as well so let's click on create now here it's asking me to select the video that I want to come up as the suggested video and if you don't have the video here you can grab the URL or the playlist URL and select it here. Just put it in this little box. But for this example, I'm going to use this. And it's highlighted, as you can see. And then I click on Create Card. Okay, so here we have this little gauge right here. Okay, if you hover over it, it will say the name of the video. Okay, so this is the name of the video that I am adding as a suggested video. Now you can use this to move it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it at one minute, two seconds. See, it says one minute, two seconds there. And then hit save. So I pulled up the video that we chose, okay, to add a suggested video to. And the suggested video... I added at one minute and two seconds. So I literally have this right now at 58 seconds. I'm just going to play this so that you see how the suggested video comes up. See that? Suggested videos right there. So that's really simple, guys. You can add as many suggested videos that you want. You just want to use the exact process that I just showed you in this video. Now next we're going to talk about analytics and you know where should you put suggested videos? We're going to talk about that next. 
So first of all, you want suggested videos in all of your videos that you have because it keeps people on your channel. And also people like to leave your video, right? And the way that YouTube judges how well your videos do, you know, how much they're going to push them out to other people is by retention, video retention. And that's how long people actually stay on your video. So obviously you want to create content, make it interesting, polarizing so that people stay on your video. But just in case they don't, this added suggestion will give them another video that you can suggest to them. And if they click on it, it's your video, it's in your channel. They at least stay on your channel and it, it acts as a view. Okay. So YouTube will say, oh, okay, well, they suggested this, they suggested this video, the audience clicked on it. So this is another view. And a lot of people actually get views from suggested views. So it's really something that you want to use, but you want to be strategic with how you use it. You want your suggested videos to pop up normally when you see people popping off your videos. So I'm going to show you how to get to what is called analytics so that you can find out when people are leaving your videos and that's where you want to put the suggested video at. Okay, so we are at the main YouTube channel page. You are going to click on your icon here and you're gonna select YouTube Studio Beta. And it's gonna come up with the same screen, screen that we were at before when we were added the suge suggested videos. But instead of selecting videos, we wanna select analytics, okay? And when you click on analytics, you'll see that information about your channel comes up. Like this is, listen, if you're really serious about growing your YouTube channel, this is where you wanna collect your data. So you know what you need to do to grow your YouTube channel and to get more views. So you'll find all that information here. Specifically, we're here because we want to find out where we want to put our suggested video at. So if you look here, it says top video. So you click on see more and it comes up with this screen here. Okay. And you will see that it shows all the data, all the information on all of my videos. But I specifically want to look at average view duration. This is the amount of time people actually stay on your video. And it's an average of all of the videos. So as you can see here, my average is three minutes. The goal is really to get four minutes or more. Okay, I heard that that's really, really good. So because this is normally where people start to drop off at the three minute mark on my videos, what I want to do is I want to add my suggested video at three minutes. I want to give them another video. So even if they're thinking about leaving this video, I'm going to give them a suggested video. Okay. And that is going to give them the option to click on that. What that does for me is it keeps them on my channel. And then when they click on that video, that acts as a view for me. That's how YouTube looks at it. And uh, so many people, you know, their videos blow up through suggested videos. So that's why it's really key for you to have suggested videos throughout your videos. And you can create however many suggested videos on video that you want. And it doesn't necessarily have to be your own. It could be somebody else's. But if you want to grow your YouTube channel, you want to get more YouTube views, then I suggest that you actually, you know, put a video in suggested videos that's actually yours to keep them on the channel and for you to get another view on a, you know, another video. So now you know how to add a suggested video to your YouTube videos using YouTube Studio Beta 2019. Hopefully this has taught you exactly step by step how to do this, implement this right away. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit that like button. Let me know, okay? Also leave a comment. Let me know if this helps you out, if you've done it, you know, how things are going with your YouTube channel. And make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can get more videos like this. But most importantly, hit that bell notification button so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified. And make sure that you click on the link below so that if you're interested in passive income, you can get started with it here today. I'll see you guys on the next video.